For this video, we're going to talk about number two linebacker and tight end Ryan Watson of Ardsley High School, located right here on the screen. And this young man, 6'2", 210 pounds, solid size kid, athletic kid, and a versatile defender. Um, his first year on varsity, his sophomore, he was at outside linebacker this past spring. They moved him to inside linebacker. And I think he has the strength that he can play runs inside the tackle box, but also shows the quickness and athleticism that he can make blockers miss in tight quarters and that range that he can stop outside runs. This is an impressive football kid to me. He has the potential to be a three-down linebacker, drop into coverage uh, to cover some running backs and tight ends. There's a lot to like from what I saw. Now, things he can work on, I do think he's raw as an inside linebacker, and he just needs more reps. Sometimes he takes too many lateral steps, not attacking downhill quick enough, And uh, but I do think he has the physical traits to do it, and we saw signs of some really good reps, and let's go over a couple of them. I mentioned he's located right here. First, I really like his stance, right? Look at the bend in his hips. Look at his hands out in front of him. I like the stance. And you're going to see when he's decisive, when he attacks downhill, he can be deadly. You're not going to run right at him. And when he runs right at him, you know, looking at the triangle read, you hear me say this a lot, you're reading a flow read to alignment. He runs to his right. You're going to see alignment down blocking. That's a strong indicator that that's where the flow is going. And that's what he does. And he's very decisive with it. All right, so let's watch the play. Look at him shoot up the field, and he's going to make a nice tackle. Looks really smooth, nice loss, uh, nice tackle for loss right there. And again, he has his capability. He's attacking downhill, off tackle. He shows the burst, shows the range. He can make that kind of play, no doubt. All right, but let's go to another play. All right here he is again. Like the stance, look at the nice bend. Look at the feet, hands in front of him. This is a nice picture of a stance for linebackers that are watching. All right, and this time they're going to run at him, okay? So... What you're going to see is the flow re-go attack the center. He's going to bend to the defense's right, offense's left. And it's, they do this so that they can screw with the linebackers and force them to read line. So when he steps forward, you're going to be looking at the lineman in front of you, and they're going to be down blocking. You're going to see a guard pull to try to block him. Okay, but watch him attack. Correct. He virtually hops up. Okay, that's important. Do your read steps. Now he's got to make a lineman miss and make this play, and he does that. Let's watch it again. Again, it's really important. Coaches teach things differently how to read. Um, I always focus in on the triangle read. But the most important thing is taking read steps. And it could either be a hop forward, like you see right here, or steps forward. But it's important to make this read correctly. He sees he's got to fill this hole right here, but there's a lineman coming right at him. And there's two ways you can do it. You can attack him using your strength, or you can use some sudden quickness. But you got to, you know, you can't be forced inside or forced out of the hole. So it's got to be a quick move. And you can fill in the hole and make this tackle. Right, and he does that. He's using his quickness there. Right, I think linebackers who have the ability to use both is really important. Let's just do it one more time. It's a good rep. Okay, here he's on the outside. Again, I mentioned he's a versatile guy. Started out as an outside linebacker his sophomore year. They moved him into inside linebacker. I think he, uh, he can move around, which I like. Again, versatile defenders are always important. You're going to see him drop into coverage, okay? They're going to be motioning this guy out to the right. They're going to have a three-route combination. Quarterback is going to roll to the right. And what they're going to do is they got a deep a deep pattern on the outside. They have a deep out on the number two receiver, and they're trying to get a speed out by this guy, uh, jet motioning to the defense's left. And you're going to see, he's, you know, smart guy, good awareness. He's going to take out this route right away. It's within five yards, so he's going to blow this play up, right? He's going to contact that receiver multiple times, and he takes his play, right? You have a flat defender now. You have a guy going deep. Quarterback has nowhere to go with the ball. So he's going to try to run. Once he sees that, now he's going to react, and he's going to tackle the quarterback. Wraps him up for a sack. Okay. Again, he shows the ability he can't drop into coverage. And this is a smart play right here. Look at him taking out that number three route. He's going to wrap up the quarterback. But I like the way he moves. He can move. And he can drop into zone coverage. But going back to this again. Here he is in the middle. A nice stance. You're going to see him try to avoid multiple blockers this time. And again, some things he can work on again. You know, sometimes he's a little hesitant. Sometimes he goes a little bit sideways. But he's learning a new position. Going to the inside linebacker spot in the spring during the COVID time. Not easy. And I think more and more reps and more and more uh, live reps is, is going to be very beneficial to him. But again... You're going to see this time, flow read is going to be going to his left, offense is right. If you see, you're going to see a guard coming right at him, right? That's going to show that he's got a flow to his left. That's where the ball's going. Takes his two read steps forward. 
Again, he's a little hesitant. You're going to see right when I play play, but you can see the guard coming at him. He's got to make a miss and get over the top. And he's going to help clean up this play. All right, a little bit hesitant, but look at him get over the top. Look at him make two linemen miss right there, and he's going to clean that play up with a nice hit. One last time. Again, all starts with his read steps. He's got to get over the top. 